We're seeing a few sprinkles out at the airport, and you can actually tell. You can see that little sheen picking up on the roadways and the runways, and Kristen's seeing a little bit of that activity on her cameras as well. It's not widespread. It's not going to be with us for long. I mean, really, it's going to be out of here within the next hour and 15 minutes, so no worries. Current temperature, 65 degrees. And remember, all this information is coming out of Wakefield, so we are seeing our winds currently out of the southeast. If you're north of that area, you've already got those northerly winds. If you're south of that region, you still have that southerly flow. But we'll all have the northerly winds pushing in shortly because here's our cold front. You'll notice you've got clear conditions just to our northern locations. When it comes to your rain, it's nothing to write home about. But we do have a few showers just over into New Kent along with Providence Forge going into Charles City and all of that's going to push its way just off to the east. So West Point, I do look for you to see a few sprinkles out there, but it's not going to be anything that really adds up in the way of rain totals, which is some great news because we all know we didn't need an additional two inches. Here's your cold front. You really can see where things are lining up. You've got your winds out of our north just to our northern locations. Winds out of the south right down along the state line. And you also at a glance can see it just by those temperatures. Look how fast the temperatures have went down. 55 in Orange, 56 in Louisa. Petersburg, you're currently in the midst of that cold front. That's why you're a little bit warmer. 63 for you guys, 59 just over into Tappahannock. Now, this cold front is really going to help out with our wind shift, and you're going to know some drier air ushering in. Temperatures will stay on the cooler side today. They're going to stay right around the mid 70s as we head throughout the entire afternoon. Now overnight, clear skies are in place and temperatures are going to fall rapidly. When you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like a crisp start to April rather than June. So today, just a few clouds out and about. We clear out overnight, so a cooler start. By tomorrow afternoon, we're still clear with that high pressure in place. That dry air is with us, and that's going to allow for your temperatures to fluctuate just a bit more. I do anticipate us to get into the lower 80s. Friday starts out clear. By Friday afternoon, a few clouds are going to filter in. Now, I'm not looking to see anything in the way of rain for your Friday, but you are going to feel the humidity making its return and really beginning to go up because those winds will then shift out of the south. So it's going to get hot and humid just in time for the weekend. Hopefully there's a pool nearby. 77 degrees today, 80, lots of sunshine tomorrow. 87 on Friday, you're feeling the heat Saturday, Sunday as we head into the afternoons. It's going to feel closer to the lower 90s. Now rain chances are going to stay quite low. They'll pop in, quickly move out. It's not a washout. If you have outdoor plans, keep them. But I'll tell you what, Kristen, today and tomorrow look really good. Ooh. And I have a feeling VDOT will be getting a lot of work done. That's exactly right.